This video poster presents a book about Austral-Asian tektites, it contains 42 chapters, as well as a dictionary and a reference list. After watching each video poster, you can download relevant chapters for detailed readings, using the link in the description below. The chemical composition of tektites in the Austral-Asian strewn field is quite similar, for both splash form, and muong known tektites. But there are variations within each tektite, between specimens, and between sampling locations. Many analyses have been made, and give mostly similar results, both for major and trace elements with different explanations for the differences. Read about the beryllium and iridium contents, and the contents of high-pressure polymorphs like cosite, stichovite, and rhyodite, read about the differences between splash form, muong nong, and microtectites, in chemical composition, locations, color, and probable creations. The muong nong tectites are compared to Mekong River Bank sediments, that have a composition almost equal to the tectites, and fits within other attempts to predict a precursor's chemical composition. The major oxide elements fit at an R-square, of 0 0.9991. Comparing the Mekong River bank sediments, to available Muong known trace elements, gives an R-square value of 0 0.9449. Almost as high a value as for major elements, indicating that bank sediments could be the precursors to Muong known tektites. Mekong River bank sediments are also found in clay pools, deposited between sand bottom ripples, during the dry season. They show alternating layering from subsequent inflow of suspended sediments, and mixing with aeolian contribution of quartz grains. During drying they crack, leaving forms and morphology similar to muong known tektites. It has been proposed that Southeast Asian tektites were created by post-Archean sediments, indicative of Jurassic sedimentary rocks, aged around 167 million years old. Four different mixing were proposed, all of which correlate at very high values to mainstream bank sediments. Some of the trace elements in Southeast Asian tektites act as fluxes and superfluxes, that lowers the melting temperature and colorant trace elements can change the tektite's apparent color. This can explain the variation in colors between splash form, muong nong, and microtektites, in combination with dissociation-dependent temperatures. The similarities in chemical composition between Mekong River Bank sediments and muong nong tektites, together with the similarities in morphology, indicates that exposed Mekong River bank sediments were precursors of muong known tektites, and that heating took place on the ground, under a thick layer of comminuted quartz ejecta, from the impact.